suiting up here for the Skyhawks. We'll see if he sees the court tonight. There's the opening tap. We are underway. Evansville with the basketball first. Here's Yasin Toomey, leading scorer for the Aces. Their last time out. Now with it, Hafner launches from there. That one's offline. And the Skyhawks will have their first possession. This is Justice Jackson running the point out top. Sizing things up is Cruz, elevates and misses. Toomey leads the break to the yes. left, it in the foul. <laughs> Would not be denied on that one. <laughs> oh, my. We've got to have the replay on that one. I think Ryan's got that in the, in the truck. Uh, just a great offensive take. He just put his head down and it exploded down the lane. Uh, again, just not to be denied. And they're in, inside the arc and moving uh, on the block. Uh, just a great, great aggressive move by Timmy right out of the gate. I'm going to the basket. I'm going to score. <laughs> and now, yeah, I'm going to the line. is going to the line. He has been on fire as of late. That free throw rattles home, and it's a three-point start for Toomey and the Aces. There's a typical 2-2-1 three-quarter court pressure by the Aces. And there's a deflection there's and a, a steal. Turnover. There's a turnover we talked about. Toomey, Thomas, three, in and out, no good. Humrick House, offensive rebound. The putback won't go. And UT Martin comes away with it. Skyhawks with a the basketball. They like to run and gun. Shot from the corner three, no good for Cruz. Humrick House, we'll see if Evansville continues this tempo. They will slow it up a little bit. Humrick House, now Toomey. Now Strawbridge cuts inside. And the pass back to Thomas. Elevating Strawbridge. Nothing but nylon. Hot start for the Aces. They lead it 5-0. Well, Rockford, Illinois native Kenny Strawbridge, first basket of the night. Take inside in the contact, and Jordan Sears, leading scorer on this team at 19 points a game, has his first two tonight. Humrick House to Thomas. Here's Toomey. Thomas tries to potentially lob it in there to Toomey. Fast break opportunity block shot from behind by Cam Hafner. Sends it the other way. Strawbridge driving to the rack. Kicks foul before the shot. <laughs> Did we tell you to strap in or what we, tonight? No, we said it was going to be up and down. And uh, this will be a high volume game. The great job by Hafner here timing it up and uh, get a good piece on, on the defensive end. 5-2 Evansville, fast start. That's our first two minutes. There's your flex cut. Here's Hafner, three, in and out, no good. And now a chance for the Skyhawks, spinning his way inside. Good move and finish at the basket for Cruz. Well, just, 20 last time out for this squad. Well, this is a squad that does not run many sets and uh, they're, they're going to play in the open court and you see a good example right there where they're just going one-on-one. -on -one. That is a three from Kenny Strawbridge Jr. And Evansville's back up by four. And that ball's deflected and stolen away. Long down court pass, Strawbridge, kaboom! Evansville plus six. Not a lot of effort on the running to play defense that time. And, uh, again, that's one of the things when you go back and look at some of these tapes, when, when you're going to be a high-volume, high-possession team, you've got to play a little bit better defense. So we'll see how that plays out here tonight. Justice Jackson, 8.5 points per game, just cashed in from long range to have the deficit. Three-point margin in favor of the Aces. Here's Toomey, decides to shoot from the foul line. Missed it. And I believe Toomey can get that shot anytime he wants to deny. They're probably going to back off him a little bit. Here's a three from the top left side. No good by Cruz. One and done the possession both ways that time. And now Evansville will look to get set in the half court. Thomas to the basket amongst the trees. Comes up empty. 
quickly the other way. Cruz will finish, and it's a one-point game. Well, they're playing that drop coverage off to me here, and uh, again, the Aces is really pushing hard uh, at that drop coverage, but uh, you've got to finish, and you've got to look at that roll man as well. This is a team in UT Martin, 20th in the country in fast break points per game at 16 plus. They like to get up and run. They're gonna do it again. Here's Jackson, he'll slow it up this time. And that Cruz looks to go one on one again. And there's the pull up jumper, good. Cruz, the hot hand. And UT Martin has grabbed the lead. A seven point run for the Skyhawks and their first lead. Here's Toomey looking to drive, finishing at the basket, left it short, but the ball caroms out of bounds. Unlucky break for the Skyhawks. It'll be Evansville basketball when we come back. Skyhawks plus one. It's the Valley on ESPN. I'd like to introduce to you the newest member of the McMahon exterminating family, Raven, our official bed bug sniffing expert. With McMahon skilled technicians and advanced training, we will get rid of the bed bugs, and Raven's keen senses will make sure we don't miss a single bug. Call us today, and remember, who can help with all your pest control needs, including bed bugs? McMahon's canine Raven can. Whether you're having guests for a wedding, a business meeting, for a weekend, or a sporting event, get the amenities you want, the service you expect, and the experience your guests deserve at the Hampton Inn Evansville Airport or the Holiday Inn Express Evansville East. Proud supporters of Aces Athletics. Jake from State Farm. I really want that personal price plan, so I'll admit it. I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you do not need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No? <laughs> Who is that guy? Jazz bath. Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tonight's broadcast on the Valley on ESPN is built by Kirchner Building Centers. From commercial to residential, building needs, Kirchner Building Centers has you covered. Also by Art Construction, serving Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky for over 50 years. And by Accelerated Growth Capital, specializing in investment property, commercial real estate, and small business loans. Locally owned and operated in Evansville, Accelerated Growth Capital is commercial lending made easy. Well, if you enjoy offense, as we've told you, you're going to enjoy tonight a fast-paced first almost five minutes of this one. Well, and if you like individual one-on-one -on -one basketball, that's what you're going to see, especially on that end of the floor with this UT Martin Club. They, just, they go quick, they go early, they look for a real quick action because they want possess a high possession game so the officials have gone to the table and to the monitor here during that timeout I'm honestly not real sure what this is about they are checking we understand to see if the last shot got off in time apparently so that's what they are checking out right now under play over at the monitor here so well both Kip Kissinger and Rick Crawford are reviewing that over there right now and Tenny Petty down along the baseline here a veteran crew tonight veteran, yeah, veteran crew on, on hand here at the Ford Center and now the coaches will find out what they have decided so they did adjust the shot clock it has gone from 20 down to 11 but the game clock is a little goofy, so they're going to have to wait to get that right. Now it is ready. Now we'll reset. 15.05 game clock, 11 on the shot clock. And now we'll go back to action. 
Humrichaus. And that will be called a travel. That will send us the other way. 11-10 Skyhawks. Evansville, after a hot start, has not scored in over two minutes. Backcourt pressure, effective. UT Martin runs well, it over. Well, two possessions of full court pressure, two turnovers for the uh, Skyhawks. So I think you're going to see that cranked up here as the, uh, as the game goes on. Skyhawks continue to be on that seven-point run. Now Tanner Cuff, first minutes in the game. Oh, my, down the court. A quick big finish at the basket for UT Martin. My goodness, in a hurry. Down to Cruz for two more. Now Cup elevates, and that will end a nine-point run for the Skyhawks. Their lead is trimmed to one. They can get ahead of a break that you seem to be caught up with, even, as we saw last time. Can the Skyhawks, who are quite quick with the basketball, Cruz out top, Sears. Nine to shoot, falls down, but got the pass away in time. And the finish by K.K. Curry is good. Evansville with the ball down by three. Kick out pass, open shot for Hughes. Ties it at 15. Boy, that two-man game over there with Cup back in his man down in the hole, and they, they jump off Hughes, and he makes them pay on the inside out. Cuff 14th in assists in the Missouri Valley coming in, averaging just over three a game. Picked up one there. Three from out, top off target. No good that time by Desmond Williams. Evansville looking for points in back-to-back -back possessions. Cuff feeling his way out inside. Dumps it underneath. Pretty play. Unselfish play. Again from Cuff to Hughes. Uh, just a great cut by Hughes. He goes baseline from that dunker spot. And uh, good job by Cuff finding the cutter. Evansville now has reclaimed the lead on a little run of their own. Step back move from Cruz, no good. And Evansville has it again. Cuff. Now Humrichaus for three, it may have been deflected. And in fact, it was, I believe, a foul called. Was it on the shot? We'll see. Uh, Coach Ritter's not liking that yes, call. Yes, it was. Coach Ritter's not liking that call. He thought, well, it, you know, the guy, the guy five feet from the play didn't call it, and you come off the baseline to make that call. But again, that will send Humrichaus, a 70% shooter at the free throw line on this season, to the line for three free throws. A chance to extend the Aces lead. Well, now, if you're the Aces coaching staff, they're saying, hey, he's he's a pretty good shooter to shoot an air ball right. from there. Let's end up uh, from 19 feet. And there you get a look. At the head coach of this uh, ball club for the Skyhawks, Coach Ryan Ritter, a guy that in this offseason got a five-year contract extension. They like what they've got in well, Ritter. And he's the guy that came up through the junior college ranks at, at Daytona Beach and then uh, really grand, grinded it out a little bit and, and really is uh, in his third year building this thing here at UT Martin. And he's pulling kids in, as and many people are at this level, uh, kids from all over the country. And it's off the uh, transfer portal. Humrichaus cashes in on all three free throws. Extends Evansville's run to seven over the last minute. And here we go back with a one little one two one one press. And, we, and uh, Aces get the turnover. Here is a pull-up jumper. Misting is Strawbridge. So Evansville got the turnover but could not turn it into points. Sebastian Mendoza out top. Some of his first minutes now. Williams, long range three from Kenny White Jr. is good. Again, became eligible to play on Friday when that two time transfer rule in the NCAA was overturned and just scored his first points of the season. That's Hughes to answer in and out <laughs> and in from long range. I tell you, if you're going to back off that kid, he's just going to pull up and shoot it. And, uh, He's just got great touch. He has such a high ceiling, Kyle. Of, uh, of His game is limitless here of, of what he can do once he grows into his body. Was two of ten behind the line from distance as Sears cashes in. 
for UT Martin. Now Hughes two for two tonight after a two for 10 start to the season behind the line. Open in the corner, Strawbridge for three. Did we tell you we'd have a shootout? Here we go. That from distance will not drop. Offensive rebound though, another three, a foul on Evansville. And for the second time in this game, we'll have a player shooting three free throws. Well, if you've liked offense, as we've said all night, you're going to like what we've seen. Well, transition transition here is the key. They're getting out, a little inside-out look there. Uh, back to uh, to Hughes on the jumper. And then if you back off the kid, here he is pulling up uh, with a jumper. You knew he was going to be close. And Hughes again getting a friendly roll at the home court. Here at the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana. The fans fired up, liking what they've seen so far. An action-packed first half of play. Evansville with a five-point lead. Well, and Evansville's coming off a game at Bellarmine, Kyle, where they went, they had players at 14, 12, 12, 10, 9, and 7. I mean, you talk about balance, and it's coming from different places. Right now, Kenny Strawbridge out of the gate uh, with 10 points and Hughes with 8. So, again, you're seeing some of that uh, come to tuition here again tonight. And that's the kind of balance that, that Coach Ragland's been looking for uh, where you just can't key on one guy. Uh, you, you've got different guys that can step up one night and get 20 points. Strawbridge with 10 points already over his season average of just under nine. And Hughes has equaled his season average with those eight points. So a good start for those two for the Aces. Right, and if you look at the flip side of this, the, the coin here, Coach Ritter is one of those coaches that really empowers his guys to shoot the ball freely. I mean, he just believes that, hey, oh, an open shot, maybe not even an open shot, a shot is better than a turnover. Right. And so <laughs> so let's let's look for the best look we can get early. Uh, let's, let's look at high volume and num number of possessions. But when you see the orange, you're going to let it fly. And, uh, and these guys believe and, and know they play freely in offense that way. Trip to the line there for UT Martin. They got one of three. And they come back out now after the timeout and uh, in, at the break, and the, they're jumping into a little 1-2-2, 3-2 zone here, trying to break the rhythm of the Aces. 
Mixing it up a little bit. Toomey with 10 to shoot. Finds Strawbridge. That three off target. Cuff rebound underneath. Hook shot up and good. Well, again, the Aces came off that game of Bellarmine where they out rebounded Bellarmine. 14 boards on the offensive end. And boy, they're making hay down there on that end of the floor. Pull up jumper just inside the arc. Won't go. A lot of white jerseys down inside, but it was. Kamwanga that came away with a rebound and then couldn't get the finish and Evansville back with it. They've made six of their last eight from the floor. Cuff, eyes doesn't take. This is Bailey. What an impact player is he is off the bench, but misses from long range there. Well, I think they jumped back in went one possession zone. Looked like a man-to-man -man in that possession to me. I'm not sure the Aces picked that up, but... Here's White on the drive against Toomey and gets the foul, will not get the roll. And Kenny White Jr. out of Madisonville, Kentucky, will go back to the free throw line. It's the second foul on Toomey. We'll see how Coach David Ragland will play that. Well, again, White does a really good job going to that strong hand, his left hand, and just getting a body on the guy as he's on that second dribble and did a good job getting to the rim. Toomey will check out with the two fouls as Hummerkhaus returns. The only two fouls on the Aces in this game have both gone against Yassine Toomey. Well, this club isn't the club that draws a lot of fouls in UT Martin. The Skyhawks are more of a jump shooting team and uh, again, uh, they've got to make that intermediate shot to be successful today. Keep now they are, they're keep, back in the zone here again. Keep an eye on their rebounding as well. They're fourth in the country, averaging just under 45 rebounds a game. And they're 5-0, and oh and they out-rebound opponents. That went offline there from Cuff. And a pull-up three is launched and down for Justice Jackson. Goodness. And it's back to a one-point spread. Strawbridge kicks. This is Bailey. Misses. Tried to avoid the contact that time instead of going to it and a little short on that pull up. Inside out, Williams three, and UT Martin surges back in front. Skyhawks by two. Did we say they had a green light? <laughs> Launch early and often. Here's Bailey trying to get going. Has missed his first two shots. Kicks it across to Hummerkhaus in the corner. That three won't go. And it's an 8-0 run that the Skyhawks look to add to in this possession, up by two. Don't blink. Yeah. Here's Jackson driving underneath. Kicks it out. Three on the way. That one's short. Cuff gets the rebound. Evansville will slow it up a bit. Maybe a little gassed. Humrick House, extra pass, Bailey, three, no. And a tie-up coming here. Possession arrow favors the Skyhawks. Well, again, that zone's really had a good effect here if you're a, if you're a Skyhawk fan and taking some, just some out of rhythm shots. That time, Strawbridge had the, the drive along the baseline and the pass going back out to Bailey was just a little offline. He had to reach outside of his body to pull it in. And, boy, you're not the, – the technique of making that pass to a shooter, Kyle, is just so, so big. Bailey, who shoots 48% from the floor, is 0 for 3 to start. Evansville's gone 0 for their last four from the floor. Whoa. There is a take inside, and they're going to call the blocking foul on the Aces. And they call the blocking foul and score the basket. And down on the deck is Hughes we'll see and where the his Ford feet are. Center crowd. Ah. Oh, boy. The Ford Center crowd doesn't like it. David Raglan doesn't either. I, I don't think that's close. I mean, I don't think that's close to the rule of the law. And let's see if they will. They may go to the monitor and look. I'm not sure. To see if there's anything flagrant. But, oh, my. I'm not sure how that's. There was a little indecision. You saw the arm kind of go up almost initially and then it didn't go up and then it did and there's a blocking foul and now they will go to the monitor 
as the Boo Birds <laughs> loom large at Forge Center. And Hughes is still down on the play. And has tried to set up multiple times with some difficulty. Joshua Hughes back on his feet. And the officials taking a look at the monitor. And Maybe bloodied as well. Yeah, I believe he's got a bloody nose there. And he's going to go down again on the sideline. Off the court. Goodness. So they go with a common foul, and they will put UT Martin at the line for a free throw. Here comes Gage Bob. He will ultimately be the sub that comes into the game for the injured Hughes, who picks up the foul. Well, and a free throw here for Cruz ultimately will come. Well, I'm sure the Aces are thinking they've got to get a little uh, more of a three-point threat yeah. against that zone to shake the thing loose a little bit. Free throw is good, and UT Martin now with a five-point lead. A 10-point run, a 10-0 run over the last two minutes. But the Skyhawks has them in front by five. Here's Thomas. Cuff wide open is Bailey. Well, he was wide open, then had it deflected, and it goes off of the Skyhawks, who collapsed back quickly, and will be out of bounds to Evansville. Boy, athletic defensive play that time. Was totally out of position and really recovered here. Came from out of nowhere to get that block. I did not see... Mendoza anywhere near the play, and then there he was. Nine to shoot for the Aces. Here's Cuff spilling defenders now in the paint with four to shoot. Hummerkaus, they're not going to notice. Now he does fire the three, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, my. Hummerkaus made everybody think that he didn't know the shot clock was winding down and hits a three pointer to old, make it a two point game. Rocker step. I mean, Cliff Hawkins probably taught him that back at Tipton High School. Skyhawks plus two. This is Williams. First time I've said it tonight. The shot clock under 10. For the Skyhawks, a long range three. No good, but another offensive rebound keeps it alive. Here's Jackson. And again, they're looking for a mismatch, so they're going to look for Cruz here against Thompson. Jackson pull up for two. No good. Bailey the rebound. Here comes Evansville. Cuff. Eyes doesn't take. Passes. Humrick House deep. <laughs> That's a deep three. And Evansville's back in front. Cross court pass makes its way to White. Now Williams, top of the key. Three, no good. And the rebound to the Aces. Bailey on the move. Deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with Evansville when we come back. Things have gotten interesting. It stayed tight. Evansville with a 33-32 lead. Stay with us. There is a difference between an idea and an idea made real. At UE, we rise boldly to the challenge of making a difference and also dream big about solving the problems of today to better our world for tomorrow. We join together knowing that side by side, we can truly make a difference. It's what makes us change makers. We step in, we stand out, and we reimagine everything. And it all starts here at the University of Evansville. Come change the world with us. The bright lights, the excitement, the energy, the passion. The postseason starts here. The 2024 Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Championship, presented by Great Southern Bank and Grinnell Mutual Insurance, heads to the Quad Cities March 14th through 17th. Watch as all 12 Valley schools compete to be champions. Get your tickets to college basketball's premier conference tournament now at mvcquadcities.com.
At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all-new boneless chicken wings. I mean, this is how Papa John's does boneless wings. Juicy all-white meat chicken, lightly breaded with hints of Parmesan and pepper, and baked to a crispy golden brown. And try them with this brand new zesty sauce. Find our new boneless wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Get two or more favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now in the app. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John. Back here at the Ford Center, an entertaining first half thus far. A one-point Evansville lead in this game. It's been a game of runs. Six points, ten points, eight points. Back and forth we go. Well, it's, it's going to be that throughout, Kyle. And uh, I I'm not sure I've seen a game this year in, in college basketball. And I watch a lot of college basketball. But I'm not sure I've seen a game where the attempted three-point shot is at the distances that I'm seeing here in this game. I mean, we're talking about 25, 26 feet that, the, that these uh, threes are going up. So, Evansville man. shooting the three at 46%, 6 of 13. The Skyhawks at 29%, 4 of 14. Neither team afraid to shoot behind the arc line. Humrick House inside goes up and is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a couple more free throws. Boy, just not a nice little set there. They run a little diagonal screen. Bob comes up to get him in the post and uh, just tries to go through the contact to finish. And Two of three at the line for Humrick House. Evansville three of four early. Here's another one that is good. If there's one thing you don't want as a coach, you don't want to see their score stand there and see the ball go through the rim at the free throw line. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, that's not a good feeling. Humrichaus goes one of two. Ball is deflected, and it goes off the hands of Cruz and out of bounds, so it will stay with Evansville. Chuck Bailey will inbound it. Here is Humrichaus. Got Thomas on the inbounds. Now here's Cuff. Tend to shoot. Cuff open three in and out. Rebound tracked down by the Skyhawks. And down the court is Jackson. Kamwanga will hand off. Get a return feed under the basket. Humrick House in for the block shot. Here's Thomas. Now Cuff. Evansville looking to add to the two-point lead. Humrick House feeling it from long range. No good. Cuff rebounds. Now Bailey and the Aces will reload it. Cuff trying again. This one, no good. And the Skyhawks back to work on offense. Take inside. And Jackson gets two more. He's up to eight points. And the game is tied. Well, there's not much of a scouting report here. I mean, it's <laughs> a set of high ball screen, a little drag screen for the point guard and, and go make a play. And, boy, last time down, they, they got the switch that they wanted. Had Bobe on the big inside, but then Hummerhaus comes back from the, from the ball screen to recover for the block. That time he gets all the way to the rim. Hummerhaus between two defenders to the rack for two more. He's already at 11 on the game. Curry driving, kicking. Tough to handle, Ooh. but Kamwanga came up with it but couldn't hit the finish. Now Bailey on the drive quickly to the basket. Missed the layup. And Bailey has struggled tonight for the Aces from the field. Was just a little bit too much spin there. On it. Be great athletic move to get to the rim, but just... A little bit out of control on the finish. 0 for 5 from the floor for Bailey. Here's a pull-up jumper along the baseline that is good for Cruz. David Ragland will spend a timeout here. What? 36-36, 4-19 remaining in the first half. Stay with us. More to come. It's the Valley on ESPN. For nearly three decades, there have been celebrations, excitement, moments, and memories. 
30 years of arch madness at Enterprise Center. And it begins here in downtown St. Louis. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship presented by Valley Sports Indiana and Great Southern Bank tips off March 7th through 10th. Celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. Get your tickets now at archmadness.com. There is a difference between an idea and an idea made real. At UE, we rise boldly to the challenge of making a difference and also dream big about solving the problems of today to better our world for tomorrow. We join together knowing that side by side, we can truly make a difference. It's what makes us change makers. We step in, we stand out, and we reimagine everything. And it all starts here at the University of Evansville. Come change the world with us. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all new boneless chicken wings. I mean, this is how Papa John's does boneless wings. Juicy all-white meat chicken, lightly breaded with hints of Parmesan and pepper, and baked to a crispy golden brown. And try them with this brand new zesty sauce. Find our new boneless wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Get two or more favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now in the app. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Another good crowd on hand here at the Ford Center in Evansville. Hi, and Merry Christmas to you. And big crowds have been on the order here at the Ford Center so well, far this season. That's right. Only Bradley, Missouri State, and Indiana State have had a higher home attendance in the Valley than U of E so far. So, again, the attendance is up. It's amazing what winning will do for you, right? Right. 4,353, the average for all of the home games Evansville has played this season, hearing that there could have been somewhere around 7,000 tickets sold for this game tonight, and they're pushing to open the upper bowl here at the Ford Center for more conference action after the first of the year. But we'll see how ticket sales go for that for the Aces as the season wears on. But a lot of kids now out on Christmas break coming to the Ford Center and checking out some college basketball action. Well, and I think tonight was educator night, I believe. Yep where they were giving some tickets away for those in the educational field. So nice touch by the Evansville Athletic Department here. Tie ball game, 419 remains. Back to action we go. Evansville with the basketball. Both teams over 40% from the floor here in the first half. Evansville a little bit better behind the arc line. Both four of six at the free throw line. Humrichaus into the corner. That's Hafner driving, kicking, open shot for Thomas is offline from the corner. And a rebound here for the Skyhawks. They can grab the lead back. White in traffic gets two more. His first night back on the court after the two-time transfer. He's got eight points in his season debut. That's a three from Bold that's no good. Humrichaus, another offensive rebound. He had it stripped on the way up. And now on the other way, here's Sears. He will track it down, draws double team trap pressure in the corner. And they will spend a timeout here to save possession. With 315 remaining here in the first half. 38-36. UT Mark. Well, a lot of times in games you, you look at different combinations, and as a coaching staff, you know, Coach Ritter and his staff's looking at, okay, what kind of lineup are we going against? And when you've got Bobe and Thomas both a little bit undersized there, uh, they're going to look for that mismatch. And so White backing that with that left hand down, just playing bully ball into the post, they found the matchup that they like. So on the Evansville side, you know, you're trying to think, well, they're in that zone. We need some more presence from the three-point line. So you're it's the yin and the yang of it, you know. Three ties, five lead changes in this game to this point. Interesting to note that we talked about the crazy stat that UT Martin has put up 20th in the country in fast break points, but Evansville has gotten 12 fast break points here in this first half to UT Martin's only four. So Evansville has slowed them down, I guess, a touch, but UT Martin, 20 of their 38 points have come in the paint. Evansville, 12 of their 36 in the paint. Looking for 
a two possession lead and the ball is just taken away there by Hafner. Now ahead on the drive, the finish will not go for the Aces and Thomas. And now a little helter-skelter move, but it works out for the flush slam finish for Kenny White, who was able to stay upright and slam it home. Thomas, now here's Bo. Hafner between the legs. Now Strawbridge backing his way in for two more. He's in double figures, down to 12 points. Evansville back to within two as we approach two minutes to go. Strawbridge again with 12. Topping his season average of just under nine. Here's a take inside, and it is good again for Sears. His sixth point averages 19 per contest. The lead is now four again for UT Martin. Strawbridge finds a cutting. Hafner goes backside for the layup. Well, both teams are back to man to man defense. And Evansville's gone a little smaller here with Hummerkhouse, the tallest guy on the floor. A take after getting free. It will roll home for Justice Jackson. Two more and double figures for the junior. Both teams on pace for an 80 plus point night. Here's Hummerkhouse. Kicks, extra pass. Another to Bob in the corner. Three short. And a rebound. For the Skyhawks. Evansville trying to get Gage Bow back into that three-point shooter's touch form in the corner. Here's a kick out three that will not drop that time for Cruz. Karam's out of bounds, and it'll be Evansville basketball. <laughs> Bailey returns here for the Aces. Sebastian Mendoza back out there for the Skyhawks. And Evansville down four with a ball with a, about a minute to go in our first half of play. Strawbridge kicks. Here's Bailey looking to get him going in this one. Strawbridge again into the paint. Kicks it into the corner. Nearly dropped out of bounds by Thomas. Six to shoot. Bob now Humrick House. Going to have to create something. Dribbled it off the foot of the defender. One second on the shot clock for the Aces. They will have to hurry. So this has got to be pretty well right at the basket. You may not have to come time to come down with a ball. No chance. Oh. But they're going to, oh, they <laughs> don't call the foul. They call the shot clock violation. David Ragland expressing his displeasure. Twice tonight, we've seen players for each team go to the line to shoot three free throws, fouled in the act of shooting a three, and you can make the argument there. You're bailing him out in a situation he's never going to have a chance to succeed in. With a shot clock at one or less. Here's a drive, missing on the finish. There was Sears. Could also say a foul's a foul. <laughs> David Raglan will spend a timeout, wants to get this last possession to work with 16.8 on the clock, his team down four. Well, Coach, what are you drawing up here if you're the Aces? Well, they've, they've been running that zoom action, which means that the guard throws the ball to the, the guy in the center of the floor. You down screen both sides of the floor, and then you run a DHO, a dribble handoff, with the big going toward that down screen. And, um, you know, they've gotten good action off backdoor cuts. Look for something along those lines, like a backdoor layup um, along that baseline that they've exposed them a little bit on that. Uh, other than that, you you got to think about going to Humbrick House inside. But playing off the double team to Humbrick House, uh, you, you know, if you're on the flip side, Martin knows that that's probably going to be the case. So they're probably going to give a little bit extra attention uh, to the big fella inside. Five players in this game in double figures. Jackson, Cruz, and White for UT Martin. Hummerkhaus and Strawbridge for the Aces. And here we go for the final 15 seconds of the first half. 
Thomas. Now Strawbridge. It'll be Evansville ball Here's to start the, the second half as well. Strawbridge, a little bump on the baseline. Now Bailey for three. That's well short. And that will be the first half of play. That ball get off the rim down there, but would not have counted. And UT Martin storms back from getting down early. Ability to return or not, but I do see Joshua Hughes on the bench for the Aces where I did not see him before halftime. So we'll see if he can, in fact, return at some point. Here's Humrick House Ooh, putting a up a shot, and the foul comes, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul goes on K.K. Curry, and that'll be his second. Well, they just come out of the half trying to go to that two-man game with Toomey and Hemrick House in the middle of the floor with shooter spread. So, again, uh, trying to get Big Ben here on the move here, getting to the free throw line, trying to make a little hay here early. Hemrick House now four of six at the free throw line in the game. Gets points. 12 and 13 right there. And allows them to get in the pressure here that they had some success with early in the game. Now they really caused fits, and they're going <laughs> to do it again. No, they don't say a travel, but they get the turnover anyway. Toomey back after a long abstinence. Herky-jerky, yes, but effective in the me. paint for two. And here comes the press again. And Evansville's tied it with the first four of the second half. Here comes the trap. Picks the ball up. With scary time there and just beating the 10 second count. And now loose on the floor, Toomey fights for it and wins possession. Another UT Martin turnover. Bounce pass backwards to Humrick House. Now Strawbridge three, that one's offline. Toomey hits the deck trying to fight for the rebound. Not a chance to get the press applied there and that allows the Skyhawks their first real look at the basket of this Half a play, and the shot comes up. No good there from Cruz. Quickly, Strawbridge the other way. Out to Toomey. Step back, move. Got the roll. Boy, they missed his presence, too, in the first half with the foul trouble. Well, I'm not sure that's a shot that Coach Raglan <laughs> wanted in transition, but Toomey looked at him and pointed. They both just smiled at each other. Got him stuck in a hot spot on the floor, and good takeaway by Thomas. And foul, Thomas will go to the line to shoot two. And UT Martin is having all sorts of trouble keeping a hold of the basketball. Well, in that in that corner, you don't want to pick the ball up. And then you, you, you teach kids at a very young age, don't take the ball across the floor uh, in a hot spot there. And boy, good trap that time, playing with high hands. And uh, get the takeaway, and now he's going to be rewarded. Thomas will be at the line, 83% free throw shooter on the season and he has been such a steadying presence at that point guard for this aces club thomas missed the free throw he has struggled tonight from the floor 0 for 5. Well, that's the announcer jink when you're telling me i tried to i tried to un jinx the jinx and got the second one to go all right and now the ball is loose a little bit, but picked up and corralled, and there's a fast break opportunity capped off by Kemwanga at the hoop, well, they changed ending the, the Evansville run. Yeah, they changed the one to the 1-2-2 one, two, two that time, and he got out of the trap early and uh, just beat it back down the floor. Evansville by one with the basketball. Strawbridge left alone, pulls up, misses the jumper. And now the Skyhawks back to work on offense. Down a point. Curry to the rack into Humrick House and they play on. Quick pass for the Aces up and under. What a finish by Cam Hafner at the basket. Well, again, transition points looking to get out and run before that defense gets set. You, you got a feeling it had to be something they talked about at halftime. And now to the basket, quick answer by Cam Wanga. He's got four straight for the Skyhawks. Humrick House, three. That's from the boat ramp at the river. He missed that one. It was deep. Oh, my. He is two of five now from three-point range. Pass into the corner. Curry, three. Missed it. And a rebound for Hafner and the Aces. Settling it up. Everybody take a deep breath. 
A pause in the action. Now we'll go again. Strawbridge. Humrickhaus, a little crossover into contact and draws the foul against Curry. And that will be his third personal foul. Boy, we've had a couple of players tonight come on the rough end of fouls against them. Curry, the worst for wear after that one. Well, and as you look over at Hughes with packing coming out of his nose and ice <laughs> on his forehead. Yeah. I mean, it's been a rough night around oh here. Oh, my. Curry coming out. With the three fouls, he'll go to the bench. Had 14 in the Skyhawks' last outing. The loss at NC State. Here's Thomas now for the Aces, looking to add to a one-point lead and to get on target. Antonio Thomas. And Antonio Thomas gets his first field goal of the game. The Aces' lead is three. And now at the basket, missing the shot was White. And Tumi. Thomas and the Aces the other way. And Toomey did a nice job going vertical there. Strawbridge spins into contact, misses. And the Skyhawks in transition. That will be a Block. blocking foul as Thomas got there a step late. The foul aces, number two, Antonio Thomas, his first. Just never first could get his feet quite set there. Speaks to the speed of UT Martin and how quickly they can get down the court. And Sears will go to the line. 77% free throw shooter coming into this one. Six points on the night. There's number seven. The Aces will get Cuff and Bailey back in the game. Hafner and Thomas check out. We're playing with tempo here in the first segment of the second half. Ev Evansville ripped off, what, 11 points here in the first four, first, uh, four minutes of the, of the second half. So obviously the emphasis is let's get it up and down the floor here a little bit. Second free throw good makes this a one-point game. Evansville back with possession. Strawbridge going to work, backing his way in, and then had it stripped. Nicely done defensively there by White. And now a long-range three is good. That's Jordan Sears from downtown. Humrick House got a little in-between dunk or lay-in and missed it. Good move to get the open shot, but... Probably a poor decision on trying to duck it. Sears gets around Humrick House for two more. He's heating up. He scored five straight. UT Martin's lead is four. Here is Toomey over to Cuff. Now Bailey spins, shoots, hits. Bailey. Bailey's first points. And this is just back and forth with runs, isn't it? Right, back and forth we go. Here you see the trap trying to get the ball out of Sears' hands. Inside, throwing it up off the glass is White for White. two more. And you talk about a guy they're thrilled to have after becoming eligible on Friday after the two-time transfer rule overturn. Kenny White has 12 points. In his season debut, Yasin Toomey doesn't shoot a lot of those and missed that one. Well, they're going to go double there and leave him open and see if he can make that shot again. So, Two of ten from three on the season, and Ooh. that kid can shoot. And he That's is Sears warming again. up. We did a really good job. A Aces did a really good job with trying to contain him in the first half. And He's up to 16 points, and it happened in a hurry. And there inside goes Tanner Cuff. Aces needed an answer on a 12-2 run by the Seahawks. They get one there to make it a five-point deficit. Cuff now with six. Back to the basket. Everything dropping right now for UT. Martin Cruz gets two more. 
Evansville down by seven. This is one of, if not the largest lead for UT Martin tonight. Cuff dumps to me, finishes. But Cuff is just a savvy, savvy player. He, he's one of those guys that when he gets older, he'll be a great YMCA player. He just takes <laughs> what's there, goes slow, plays, plays off two feet. UT Martin has not missed from five straight from the floor. There is the miss from a long range out top. Bailey into the front court for the Aces. Evansville needs a good look. Strawbridge battling toward the basket, got free and scored. He is so good about backing his man down to the basket and finishing. Well, both these clubs just, it's all one-on-one -on -one basketball right now. And it's a three-point game, advantage UT Martin. Sears around a screen. Hummerkaus with him for the moment. Elevates. Oh, my goodness. It, he yeah, is was, on fire. That was just really good defense, but just better offense. Sears with two more. He's up to 18. What a second half. We're not even halfway through it. Strawbridge to answer Strawbridge from distance. Junior. He's got 17. Three. And a shot just that quickly the other way. Missed by Jackson. And that, both these teams are gassed. And that's why Cuff is one of the top assist guys. He just takes what is there. Cuff fouled out top. And we will step aside a much needed break in an entertaining game for these two teams. UT Martin has the two point advantage. For nearly three decades, there have been celebrations, excitement, moments, and memories. 30 years of arch madness at Enterprise Center, and it begins here in downtown St. Louis. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship, presented by Valley Sports Indiana and Great Southern Bank, tips off March 7th through 10th. Celebrate 30 years of arch madness at Enterprise Center. Get your tickets now at archmadness.com. The bright lights, the excitement, the energy, the passion. The postseason starts here. The 2024 Missouri Valley Conference Women's Basketball Championship, presented by Great Southern Bank and Grinnell Mutual Insurance, heads to the Quad Cities March 14th through 17th. Watch as all 12 Valley schools compete to be champions. Get your tickets to college basketball's premier conference tournament now at mvcquadcities.com. I'd like to introduce to you the newest member of the McMahon Exterminating Family, Raven, our official bed bug sniffing expert. With McMahon's skilled technicians and advanced training, we will get rid of the bed bugs, and Raven's keen senses will make sure we don't miss a single bug. Call us today, and remember, who can help with all your pest control needs, including bed bugs? McMahon's canine Raven can. A look inside the huddle, Aces coach David Raglan coaching up his squad during this timeout. He's a good one in his second year here. He's really got this program headed in the right direction. Well, it certainly has. He's really gotten the attention of not only the region here, the tri-state region in Evansville, but uh, he's got, they've gotten the attention of the people in, in the league itself in Missouri Valley. So, again, they're going to be very formidable. Um, you know, people didn't expect them to get out of the gate the way they are, so they're really exceeding expectations right now. But, again, you've got to fight. If you're Evansville, one of the keys we talked about, you and I talked about off air coming in, was, you know, you get back to the campus, everybody's patting you on the back, you know, you, you played pretty well. You just can't give in to that and be complacent. And, well, they've come out here with the intensity they need to win this game. Evansville with the ball down by two, and they stopped the action. And... I think it's because there was a clock issue, but 
it's time for another media timeout because the action stopped. That's why That's why There's I said they were the both floor. gassed. It yeah. took forever. <laughs> we'll be back, we promise, right after this. You know, it's really scary. Popcorn with no butter. No, getting insurance. I mean, what if the jargon makes me feel alone and in the dark? Hey, at State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. <laughs> Sorry. Is that seat taken? Get on up here, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Most water? Yeah, for my cup of ale. I saw. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. And what if I need a different kind of plan? State Farm can help you find the right coverage. What if I was a different kind of baller? It's called Mark's Cubans. Cuban sandwiches by Mark Cuban. You'd have a majority steak. Mm. This is proprietary toasting technology. It's a pass. Okay, hear me out. Mark Tubins. Tube socks by yours truly. Nope. Mm -mm. At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. At Papa John's, we start with better. Like these all new boneless chicken wings. I mean, this is how Papa John's does boneless wings. Juicy all white meat chicken, lightly breaded with hints of Parmesan and pepper, and baked to a crispy golden brown. And try them with this brand new zesty sauce. Find our new boneless wings on the Papa Pairings menu. Get two or more favorites for just $6.99 each. Order now in the app. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. The valley runs deep. We have all Americans. We have champions. We have Olympians. We have legends. And the valley just got deeper. Well, back here to Evansville, you know, the way the the world works in the world of basketball, if you want to, if you didn't know this part of the media side of things, every four minutes of play, there's a there's a media timeout. So the under 16, the under 12, the under eight, there was so much action, we didn't have an under 16 minute timeout until we were under 12. And so that's why we played both timeouts in such quick order. So after an extended break, Welcome back, and let's get back to basketball. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 64-62. <laughs> we thank our sponsors. Here's Bailey. Big Aces three. hit the triple. And again, Martin comes, UT Martin comes back out, jumps in that zone again after a dead ball situation. Big three that time by Bailey. Skyhawks go over the top of the backcourt pressure and getting free with a cut to the basket is Mendoza for two to answer in. Back in front just that quickly go the Skyhawks. First points of the game for Mendoza. And now Bailey, baseline leaner. Shot, Bailey. That's five straight for Bailey. And Bailey's one of those guys that can just all of a sudden go on a run. Aces come out and play a little 2-3 zone now. Both teams with a chess match. I haven't seen this all year. Trying to disrupt things a bit. Shot clock at eight. Oh my. That was a heat check. And that three no good for Sears, his first miss of the half. Bailey back to Strawbridge, left open three offline. And the rebound is tipped out of bounds. It'll belong to UT Martin. And a little bit of indecision here between the Skyhawks. They need to take the ball out of bounds. Cruz and Sears with discussion. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden we go back into this 2-2-1 here. Trying to trap at half court here. Really trying to slow the Skyhawks down and dictate the pace of play a little bit. Here is Cruz. Now Sears in the corner and stepping out of bounds was Mendoza for the turnover. I think you see that every single game, don't you? What is it about <laughs> the sideline and standing in the corner? In the corner, yeah. get this. Your shoes are too big. 
halfway through this second half of play. It's a one-point Evansville lead. Cuff just decided to launch from there and connects. <laughs> Throw it in there, big fella. He's got eight. Evansville up by three. Inside look with a defender right there. Good defense by Toomey. Cruz misses. Cuff, lob, Toomey. Up, block shot, out of bounds. Good play by the Skyhawks defensively. But again, you like the you like the attitude where the Aces are really pushing the ball before trying to get on the attack before that defense gets set. 69-66 Aces. Here is Toomey, spinning, shooting, scoring. We talked about that big lead UT Martin had in points in the paint. Evansville is back to within six now, 40-34, and the Ford Center crowd making some noise. Evansville by five. That is from distance. That's no good from Cruz. Humrick House the board. That's a three. Strawbridge, no. Cuff high for the board. Looks to distribute. Instead, reverses course, goes to the basket, and gets two. Cuff with 10. Evansville on a run. Timeout, Skyhawks. Evansville on an eight point run over the last two minutes and change. They've got a 73 66 lead. Jake from State Farm. I really want that personal price plan. So I'll admit it, I'm a bath bomb guy. Dude, you do not need to get that personal. The State Farm Personal Price Plan simply helps you create an affordable price just for you. For real? Who's ready for their jazz bath? No? <laughs> Who is that guy? Jazz bath? Call or click to get a quote today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Whether you're having guests for a wedding, a business meeting, for a weekend or a sporting event, Get the amenities you want, the service you expect, and the experience your guests deserve at the Hampton Inn Evansville Airport or the Holiday Inn Express Evansville East. Hi, I'd like to introduce to you the newest member of the McMahon Exterminating Family, Raven, our official bed bug sniffing expert. With McMahon's skilled technicians and advanced training, we will get rid of the bed bugs, and Raven's keen senses will make sure we don't miss a single bug. Call us today, and remember, who can help with all your pest control needs, including bed bugs? McMahon's canine Raven can. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship presented by Valley Sports Indiana and Great Southern Bank tips off March 7th through 10th. Celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. Get your tickets now at archmadness.com. Back here at the Ford Center in Evansville. Fans young and old entertained by this one. 73-66 for Palaces have surged to the lead they, on a 14-2 run over the last three and a half minutes, an 8-0 run over the last two and a half, and UT Martin's gone almost three minutes without a point. Well, again, the switching of defense has had a little bit to do with that, and uh, just to break that rhythm a little bit, and just been a good, good second half so far by both these squads. Kind of gone away from Sears, who was unconscious to start the second half. He hadn't missed a shot till his last one a moment ago, and now trying to get Cruz involved again in the offense. He misses from long range. The drought continues. Evansville looking to add to the lead. And Mendoza's done a nice job defensively on Humbercast. Oh, what an effort there. I'm surprised they haven't gone with Humbercast back down in the post. 
trying to isolate Mendoza down there. Cuff won that ball back after nearly getting it turned over. And there's another foul of a three-point shooter. And Bailey will go to the line for three. Second time tonight, Evansville will shoot three free throws. Bailey, a 78% free throw shooter on the season coming into the game, has not shot a free throw tonight. When and Chuck's one of those guys, he's got so much athletic ability, and he's really got the ability to get to, to, get to the rim. You've seen him tonight even on a couple of really explosive plays. When he gets to... I call it that Indiana game. You know, the high school guys in Indiana who catch their all shot prep, ready to shoot the ball off the pass, that kind of playing off two feet kind of thing. When he adds that to his repertoire, his ceiling also is very, very high. First double-digit lead of the game belongs to Evansville. They lead it by 10. Here's a little 1-3-1 one, one action by the Aces. And a take uh -huh. to free throws for the Skyhawks. And now the Aces, number four. Foul on Bailey. The third, and another break. Evansville has pushed it to a 10-point margin. We'll be back. It's the Valley on ESPN. For nearly three decades, there have been celebrations, excitement, moments, and memories. 30 years of arch madness at Enterprise Center. And it begins here in downtown St. Louis. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship presented by Valley Sports Indiana and Great Southern Bank tips off March 7th through 10th. Celebrate 30 years of arch madness at Enterprise Center. Get your tickets now at archmadness.com. better like these all new boneless chicken wings i mean this is how papa john's does boneless wings juicy all-white meat chicken lightly breaded with hints of parmesan and pepper and baked to a crispy golden brown and try them with this brand new zesty sauce find our new boneless wings on the papa pairings menu get two or more favorites for just 6.99 each order now in the app better ingredients better pizza papa john Evansville has been on a big run here over the last few minutes. Free throws for UT Martin coming out of the break, but it's been over almost three and a half minutes since UT Martin's got a point. Evansville on an 11-0 run over those three minutes plus and a 17-2 run over the last four minutes and change. Evansville won their last game at Bellarmine going on a run. They're doing it again here in the second half. Absolutely. They just didn't wait till the last four minutes to do it over there <laughs> like they did. Now, we talked at halftime about those six players going two for 19 at the half. We happen to step up. Those same six now have scored eight points or eight buckets here in the second half. So, again, the other guys stepping up, making, making uh, plays. And uh, they've done this without Hughes. And I can't tell you how big a big of yeah, how impressive that is that Hughes has been on the bench now after being injured the first half, and they've been able to make this run without him on the floor. Five Aces players in double figures. Four Skyhawks in double figures. Free throws here out of the timeout. And the first is good by Kenny White, Jr., who is now up to 13 points. Missed it, rebound. Picked up by Mendoza oh, inside, but he double dribbled. Yep. That was actually Jackson underneath who got the rebound, and he's still confused about the double dribble, but a turnover will give it back to the Aces. That is the eighth UT Martin turnover of the game. And the Skyhawks come out with some full court pressure out of the man to man. Evansville's lead is nine. Cuff backing his way down into the paint. 
Leaves the pass inside for Toomey, who was nearly taken out of the play. He's fouled. And that'll be the sixth team foul <laughs> on UT Martin. Well, for most basketball fans, when you say they're playing a two-man game, a guy's going to be in the post, and a guy's going to be on the perimeter. And we're going to play that two-man game. Here, it's just back my man down in, and I'm looking for the five-man on a little dump pass <laughs> at the rim. Toomey catches the inbounds pass. Now here's Bailey. Strawbridge. Again, backing in, spinning in, oh. and that one off the hands of Toomey, not able to catch it cleanly. And here come the Skyhawks, quickly missing at the basket, and a technical foul has been called, I think, under the basket on Sears, and that is what was called. So a technical foul. Was he upset that there wasn't a foul call and yeah. a take? Was that the reaction yeah, we saw there? If we've got the, the replay, but, yeah, that seems to be the case. And uh, I thought they were going to call it over the back foul. I, on I the did, rebound too. That's what I thought it was going to be. But Hummer Kaus will go to the line and shoot the technical foul shots. The officials did very Here discreetly, yeah. So he didn't like that Toomey didn't get called for the foul. He's protesting, and there's the technical. Good job by our crew to pick that up. Yep. Hummer Kaus hits both free throws. Evansville back to an 11-point lead. Both have, teams have been on 11-point runs in this game. We do have the varsity guys in the truck tonight. We right? do. Well, not the JV guys. We got the varsity guys out there. They do a great job. Evansville by 11 with the basketball as we approach seven minutes to go. UT Martin's going to have to dial up some stops. Evansville needs to keep the... Pedal to the metal. Here's Strawbridge to Cuff. Cuff fouled on the cut inside, and that will be the eighth team foul on the Skyhawks. Evansville in the bonus the rest of the way. Only two team fouls on Evansville here in the second half. And Cuff will shoot the free throw. This is a one on one opportunity. Big man with 10 points tonight. First free throw, will not get the second. I didn't tell you he was an 81% shooter for that very reason. <laughs> I Aces, thought him right out of that one. Yeah, the Aces jump into that 2-3 zone again. Jackson across the court. And again, the zone has really slowed them down. Now the ball is kicked, and that's a good call by the official. It goes off the foot of Toomey. You It'll think, be Evansville basketball. You, I think that's the right you, call. You think that was a good call? I thought so. Okay. I thought Toomey kicked it. It was on the deck. Did it hit his foot or his shin? Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Well, yeah, it does. What part of the a leg? A kick's a kick. A foul's a foul. I've seen a soccer guy <laughs> kick it with his shin before. 6.40 oh, to go. Oh, boy. Open. Yep. And Toomey blocks the shot somehow. Oh, and then oh UT my. Martin loses it out of bounds. Goodness. And the crowd rises at Ford Center. Wide open? No, you're not. Wow. Humrick House back to live action over now to Strawbridge. Evansville has kind of settled into control of this game as of late. And Cuff gets two more. Largest lead of the night. For the Aces. Well, he just got a nice little floater inside, good body balance, and just an excellent job finishing inside 10 feet. Moving into the paint, Jackson has to kick, does. Cruz has really been kind of taken out of this game, gets two there. He was an impact player in the first half. That's his first basket of the second half. We'll look for him to go get the basketball here the rest of this game. Here's Toomey inside, gets the finish to answer Toomey. right back. Boy, we've seen him play a lot. When he does those kinds of things within what this Aces team does, he is so valuable to this club. Three from the corner, double bounce, no good, and cuff the rebound. Strawbridge kicks, Humrick House three, short. Here comes Jackson, looking inside, and that ball deflected away. 
5-10 to go in a 13-point affair. UT Martin has just made one of their last eight from the floor. Jackson triggers the pass out top. That's Mendoza from distance. No good. Cuff. What a play. Wasn't going to be able to rebound it. Knew where Bailey was. Tipped it to him. And Evansville gets possession. Toomey faces the basket, takes off there. Goes up through contact, missed it, rebound. UT Martin. And able to fancily footwork along the sideline to save it over there. And a spin to the basket, and here comes Cruz with four in about the last minute or so, and it's back to an 11-point Aces lead. Four and a half under that now to go. Cruz with 19 points, but a relatively quiet second half. Humrick House now to me. Back to Humrick House, has to go get it, save it, pitch it, three. Won't go for Strawbridge, but it goes off the hands of UT Martin out and, of bounds. They again, can't buy a break. And, and again, Cuff making that happen just by pursuing the ball, not standing and watching, and just making plays. The American Fork Utah native, the junior. He's made some heady plays tonight along with 12 points. Had seven of the aces last outing against Bellarmine. And really good at distributing the basketball. Here's Toomey. A no-look pass that was intercepted. A no-look pass that was a no-get-there pass. Yeah, didn't get yeah. there. And here's a three. That's a uh, big shot for Sears as he wants to heat back up and here comes another surge by UT Martin to get back in it. Strawbridge behind the back with the dribble into the paint foul and he'll go to the line to shoot a couple of free throws. But those will come when we come back. Our final media timeout of this one, Evansville leads it by eight, 82-74. For nearly three decades, there have been celebrations, excitement, moments, and memories. 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. And it begins here in downtown St. Louis. The 2024 State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Championship presented by Valley Sports Indiana and Great Southern Bank tips off March 7th through 10th. Celebrate 30 years of Arch Madness at Enterprise Center. Get your tickets now at archmadness.com. Hi, I'd like to introduce to you the newest member of the McMahon Exterminating Family, Raven, our official bed bug sniffing expert. With McMahon's skilled technicians and advanced training, we will get rid of the bed bugs, and Raven's keen senses will make sure we don't miss a single bug. Call us today, and remember, who can help with all your pest control needs, including bed bugs? McMahon's canine Raven can. Whether you're having guests for a wedding, a business meeting, for a weekend, or a sporting event, get the amenities you want, the service you expect, and the experience your guests deserve at the Hampton Inn Evansville Airport or the Holiday Inn Express Evansville East. Proud supporters of Aces Athletics. Headed down the stretch in this one, 3.30 to go. Evansville had a 13-point lead. That has been trimmed to 8, 82-74. Evansville's not scored in over two minutes. Well, I think you're the scouting report on this UT Mark team that we said at the start of the uh, game. Sears now has 21, Cruz has 19, and White, the, the guy back now after the, the two-year transfer rule of NCAA, with 13. So if those three guys look for them to to get the main uh, focus, both defensively from the Aces and on the offensive end for them. Evansville was down by four at the break. They've outscored the Skyhawks by 12 here in the second half, 42 to 30. Both teams, as we mentioned, on 11 point runs at one point in the game. UT Martin's largest lead was seven, Evansville. 
has led by as many as we told you 13. Well, you know, you know how coaches are. Coaches are saying, okay, during the break, well, let's see here. T 19 fouls to two. Right. Okay, so see if that's not a factor <laughs> right here in the next couple minutes. Yeah. What did we say earlier? Foul's a foul. A foul's right? a foul, but. <laughs> when it's nine to two, coaches get a little grumpy. Yeah. And, you know, it's the end of the game. Last three minutes, it'll be a free throw shooting contest. Strawbridge hits the first, this one to put the lead back to double digits, and he does. 84-74, UT Martin. And again, Ace is trying to burn a little clock here by that passive pressure back to that 2-3. Skyhawks need points, and they're a team that can get them in a hurry, especially if you dial up Jordan Sears. Another three. Goodness. Well, the problem with the zone the offense gets to decide what the matchups are. Boy, that time they just hit a little ball screen up top on the one against the guards, and he just raises up and shoots the three. Drive inside, Cuff elevates and finishes. Tanner Cuff goes to work. Sears, 24 points with the basketball now. And now they, now they switch Bailey and Cuff on top, so Bailey is matching up more with Sears. Another bomb, that one no good by Jackson. Humrick House, the rebound. Now the Aces will burn a little clock on the offensive end here. And again, any UT Martin foul means Evansville free throws. Here is Toomey, now to Bailey in the corner, 10 to shoot. Bailey elevates, missed it short, and a rebound to the Skyhawks. A chance to score. Jackson kicks in the corner. Moving, elevating baseline. That one short by White, but an offensive rebound keeps it alive. Jackson floater. Gets the finish plus the foul. He'll go to the line for the and one. That's Toomey on the foul. That will be his third. Boy, and second, what do they say about second shot? Second spot, second shots mean second place? Right. Boy, second shot opportunity that time, and Jackson really makes them pay. Free throw is good. The old-fashioned three-point play makes this a two-possession game. 86-80, Evansville with the lead and the ball. They led by as many as 13 here in the second half. Cuff on the dribble, baseline. Now into the paint, backside cut, backside, ring in for Strawbridge. Just a great call from the bench that time when he's driving in and look at that weak side baseline cut and just a great execution that time with, between Cuff and Strawbridge. Skyhawks trying to keep trading threes for twos. Bounce pass inside, that's a big finish. And a timeout, Cruz gets the slam. And back to a six-point game. Timeout taken by the Skyhawks. And don't go anywhere. This 115 could be interesting. <laughs> well, two-possession game, Kyle. A, a lot of ball game left here. UT Martin not afraid to shoot from distance. They have, at times, struggled from three-point range in this one. They are 8 of 28 from three. Evansville, 8 of 29, in case you're wondering. <laughs> well, again, you, you see the look, 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 and backing the guy down inside again, and the same kind of action. And, well, here he gets the little floater and not much of a foul, but, again, it's 9 to 2. There's your baseline cut behind the defense. You turn your head a little bit. He's going to take advantage of it. Same thing. Here comes Sears. There comes Cruz, and just a great finish there. Same kind of play on that backdoor cut. That's Good it. passers reward movement. And uh, when those guys are really looking for one another and I make a good hard cut, he's going to find it. By the way, just so you know, Tanner Cuff is flirting with a triple-double. Eight point, or rather a 14 point, eight boards, eight assists. Yeah. And he, he has had a game. I'll tell you, he, he's one of those guys, Kyle, that when you do go to the YMCA, 
they're playing a YMCA song right now, right? There you, there you when go. you do go to the Y, he may not be the guy you pick first on your team because he, he may not look like the most athletic guy on the floor. But, man, he's one of the more effective guys on the floor, that's for sure. 115 left in this one. And it will be Evansville basketball. Officials making sure everything is correct. And they'll At pick what up. point do you think the Skyhawks try to shorten the game or extend the game by fouling? We'll have to see. It may be now. Bailey to Toomey, and there is the foul. That is the team's 10th. And so Toomey will have two free throws. And that's probably the guy you want at the line if you're UT Martin. No question. That's a scouting report foul right there. I mean, you're trying to get a piece of the inbound pass. You're trying to get a quick trap. If, if the guy you want to foul uh, picks up the ball, we'll go ahead and give that one up. 56% at the line, but two for two tonight. Back to a three possession, seven point aces lead. Cuff will check out as Thomas comes back in and Cuff, tell me basketball fans aren't smart, gets a standing ovation for his big performance. Toomey misses that one, so it stays a seven point game. This possession gets us close to one minute to go. Well, I'm sure the aces are going offense and defensive possession there. And there comes a foul. That one will go against Bailey. That's just the Fifth, or is it fourth? Fourth team foul, just fourth on the Aces here in the half. You know, Evansville kind of moans and groans there. I'm not sure they don't mind that foul. Right. Force them to reset. Exactly. So you play a little physical here. We just don't want to do it inside the paint. And that is what you can't have happen if you're an Aces fan, and exactly what the doctor ordered for the Skyhawks as Cruz <coughs> hits from deep. And then I'm not sure you've seen Toomey's the guy you want running the floor with a ball there with the aces as he'll have to go back to the free throw line to shoot two more in a four-point game. And UT Martin has whittled this 13-point lead down, down to four right now. Two free throws here pending for Toomey. First is good. Well, you got to like Toomey's confidence. How about that? <laughs> you got to like his confidence. Um but again, you, you might want to have the ball in Hummerhouse's hands here against the press. Second free throw, Toomey, in and out, no good. And it stays a five-point game. 50 seconds, lots of time left. Reversing course, going to the basket. I thought he almost threw it over the top of the backboard. And now Bailey is trapped, and he is fouled, and will go to the other end for free throws with 41 seconds left in regulation. Well, did we tell you there'd be offense tonight? <laughs> 90 to 85, under a minute to go of the second half. And Bailey is at the line. He's got 10 points, a perfect three of three at the line. We'll have two here. Got it. Still a two possession game. Yassine Toomey is having a conversation with UT Martin coach Ryan Ritter, they're laughing and exchanging pleasantries down here as hey. Bailey hits them both. Yeah, we're going to foul you every time, buddy. And now down the court, there comes a foul. And again, it's only five. I think if you're the Aces, I don't think you mind that. It right. stops the runout potential. Well, you don't want him to get to the rim. Right. You know? I mean, you, you don't want him to get off two feet down there to get the ball in the air. So good foul that time by Bailey. And Evansville still with a couple to give if they want. 37 seconds to go. Evansville up seven. Got to be quick. And slicing between two into uh -oh. contact. It rolls out. And free throws will come here for White. That's not the foul Evansville wants to get. Thomas picks up the foul. And, and to the line is Kenny White, and you talk about a coming out party, back to the court after the double transfer. Looked like he would spend some more time away, but the rule changed Friday, and Jackson's on the court. All he's done on is done tonight is go off for 14 points in his season debut, looking for another. That foul, by the way, a moment ago, changed to Strawbridge. Toomey will check out offense for defense. 
Second free throw is good for White. Five point game here with 30 seconds. Humrick House oh. threw it away. Cuff fouls and free throws will come for the Skyhawks. You talk about disaster. A turnover and then Evansville fouls and more free throws for the Skyhawks. And it'll be Sears at the line. 77% on this season, got the first, and it's a four-point game. And Sears now with 25 points. Well, now if you're the Skyhawks, you don't want to foul right away. You want to trap and look and rotate. Maybe you get the half court, then you do foul. Cuff will inbound it or try to. Guz to, to Humrick House, and now they will... Pick out Thomas. Shot clock will be off the duration of the game with 25 on the clock. And Antonio Thomas, an 83% shooter tonight, will go to the line. Thomas, 83% tonight, but goes to the line 0 for 2 in the game. Has 2. Water levels up, doesn't it? Hits the first. This one is big. Well, that one was big. It made it a four-point game. And I think you're going to see Sears here. Everybody better be with Sears because he's going to go to the rim. Here comes Toomey for Cuff. Again, offense for defense. And it also slows things up a little bit to get set. Strawbridge a little out of kilter there about where to be. But it works out. 22 seconds. Here's Sears. Looking for a lane, finds a lane, drives, and missed it. Rebound deflected. Toomey Throw has it. it. Needs to pass. Does. Thomas fouled. <laughs> Toomey was, who wants it? Who wants it? And finally found Thomas, who will go to the other end for free throws, and Evansville might finally be breathing a sigh of relief. I think when Toomey went out of the game, I think he got reminded by the coaches, <laughs> say, now look, against the press, <laughs> it's okay to pass the ball quickly, right? <laughs> Thomas goes back to the line. You know, basketball is not a democracy here, right? It's not like baseball where your 133 hitter gets to hit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> Thomas hits that one. Evansville shot it at 77%. This will be the 31st. The track that, the 29th free throw of the game for the Aces. They've made over 20. The lead is seven. Driving and scoring at the basket is Jackson with five seconds to play. Not given up. Another foul by the Skyhawks. Two possession game, 4.5 on the clock. Sears the foul. <laughs> UT Martin, 12 of 15 at the line in the game. Evansville, 22 of 28. At the line. Well, in Evansville, after shooting 30% the first half, has come back in the second half and shooting almost 60, almost 60% and uh, from the field. And so, once they once they got back to the tempo and got up and down the floor, the second half really made a big difference for this Aces club. 98-91. New team. Martin needs a seven-point shot in four seconds. Mendoza from deep missed it, and that's the ball game. How about the Evansville Purple Aces? They win it at home. David Raglan has got it.